Hey guys, what is going on? This is Fritz, and this is a pretty cool tutorial. This is the Xbox Live Achievement, and the text on it, just, I'm going to say this first, uh, the text on it, really, there's no, like, real way to do it. I have no idea what the actual font is. I'm pretty sure the one I have, which is Arial, which is most of you uh, should have on your computer. It's uh, one of the pre-installed ones. Um, that's what I found to be the closest, but you can do like artistic cursive writing in it and stuff, and there's a lot you could do. So I'm just going to show you the uh, how to do it and get rid of the black, and um, by that, here's what I mean. Uh, here is the plain clip, so let me just get rid of that right now. Here is what you have to download in order to uh, use it. It's this Xbox thing here, and you can see it's got a black background on it, and I'll show you how to get rid of that and everything. And it was made by Darezebo. Uh, the legend himself, he's the one who made this Xbox thing as far as I'm aware, uh, it's where I got it from. So um, if you don't already have it or um, whatever, you can download it, links in the description, I just uploaded it myself. But all credit for the actual animation of it goes to Dare's Evil. So let's jump into it. First thing, we've got our clip, I just, it doesn't matter where or whatever you do it. Um, so I'm just going to put it up in the corner here. So first things first, obviously we're going to bring the clip down, we're going to drag it on top of our clip here and we're going to sync it up. So there we go, it starts right there. And we're going to go to where it's fully out, and that way we kind of get an idea. So what first thing we want to do is hit S on our keyboard so we get the scale, and we're going to scale it up to about 150, and we're going to put it in the top corner, right around there. Right there is good, and you can just click and drag, and there you go. So now we're going to get rid of the black, so first thing er, you got to do to get rid of it, there's kind of two steps to this, you have to find linear linear color key. There you go, linear color key, we're going to click on that, drag it on. And we're going to click on this blue, this like just little blue patch here. Then we're going to bring it down to black. So there we go. We've got black down there. And there you go. You can see now we have it there and it's kind of faded out. You can see through it and we don't really want that. So what we do is we want to change the matching softness to 7%. And that solids it up for it. Anything less like 6%, you start to get like a black outline on it. So 7% works the best in my opinion. And there you go. So that's how you remove the black. There's like, you know, people say we can set it to add, but I find that way works the best. There's absolutely nothing else on the screen but the achievement, and that's what we want. So now what we want to do is uh, if you look on an Xbox or a picture, or next time someone co somebody comes online, you'll notice this thing is full. It's black. Here it's just see-through. So we're going to fill that with the circle real quick. And that's fairly easy to do. Just right-click down here, hit New, hit Solid. Make sure the color is black and not white, so just make sure it's black. Okay. Drag it underneath the Xbox Live achievement, but over top of the clip. And what we want to do is search up in our uh, effects and presets, just circle, just plain old circle. It, sh it should pop up. Drag it onto the solid, and you can see we got a white circle. So now we're just going to drag it over behind the Xbox thing. We're going to go to the radius here and bring it down so it just fills up what we want and nothing else. So that would be about, I'll we'll try 45. There we go. So there we go. Now it's just filling up that area, and to change it to black, we just go to color, drag it down to black. There we go. So that's it. That's the circle for the middle of it, and we don't want it the whole time, because otherwise you see we've got this weird, ugly thing on the screen. So what we want to do is right here, you can see the Xbox Live thing is full. We're just going to hit Alt, beginning bracket or just cut the beginning part of it out and then that way it appears when we want it to. So now we're going to do the text and like I said there's no real real way to do the text. Um, what I do is I just you know right click new text make sure that it's on top of everything and the order like if you're trying to make it look realistic it goes achievement and I'm going to make this small because uh, it's way too big right now it's definitely not that big on Xbox and I also got to double check I spelled achievement right so there we go, that's achievement, right, there we go, and then space unlocked, and that goes on top, so there's two layers of text we need to make, so this one goes on top, so we're just going to size it down quite a bit till it looks looks about like that, and we're going to put it right in the middle, actually maybe a little bit bigger, uh, so it's not exactly perfect, but it's close enough. You can still tell what it is. That's kind of key. So there we go. We're going to put it right there. And we're going to hit T on our keyboard and change the opacity to 95. 95. Just kind of makes it blend a little bit. All right, we'll try 90 even. All right, so there we go. We got 90. Now we're going to duplicate this text layer. So Control C and then V. And this time we're going to drag it down. And we're going to type whatever we want. So if you want to have like an achievement unlocked or it's like... 50 G or whatever you put 50 G space then that dash then whatever you want so I'm about I'm gonna hit 5,000 subscribers soon 
So that'll be my achievement, 50G for 5K. And I'll put it right there. And that's it. That's the text. And you can mess with it. That might be even a little bit bold. So you can, you know, mess with your settings down here even. Um, I forget which one's bold. I think it's this one. There we go. So we're going to put it to 2 maybe. We'll set it to 2 and then same with the one up here. There we go. That looks even better. So there we go. And now we have to make it fade in. So what I do, how I make it look kind of realistic is right around here. You can see where the uh, loop is and how it kind of, let me just go to the side here, how it kind of touches the edge of the text. What I do right on this exact frame where it's kind of like this situation, I hit T on both of the achievement and the subscriber so I can see the opacity. So keyframe both of them and we're going to bring them all the way down to zero and zero. And then I'm just going to move my mouse over until it's full grown. So there it's grown right there and I'm going to change them up to 90% just like that. So uh, from zero up to 90 and then if we zoom out and watch it real quickly here we go 90 percent there you go and you can we can make them fade in even more it's all up to you and then at the for the end of it it just kind of disappears like that like there's really nothing to do um, I'll show you again it just kinda like disappears so what I do is right here I just alt end bracket and then I end I just cut the end of everything so that way there's nothing we have to deal with in the next frame and it just completely dies like that and that's what I, like there, on xbox there's that whole animation where it goes in here i just kind of cut it out you can do it it's just reversing what we did up here but um i just cut it out for this time for the lack for the sake of uh, time of the tutorial so if you guys enjoyed uh please leave a like rating and a comment maybe even favorite the video uh click share if you uh absolutely love the video which is oh my god amazing and don't hit, forget to hit subscribe at the top and help me get to that 5k mark and yeah follow me on twitter like the video peace bye love you see ya